It's time for baseball here on the show. Game two of the World Series. Greg Maddox will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? This will be interesting. This guy won the NL Cy Young Award last year. He's a solid pitcher, Matt. And one of the things he does, he throws the ball into the strike zone, and he's not afraid of contact. Solid pitcher. Kevin Kiermeyer is at the plate now, and he's quickly behind 0-1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Murphy's on the move. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Not Good pitch first pitch yeah. on its way. Adama. Willie Adamas comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Nope. Ball one. Ball and two strikes to the Rays shortstop. That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. And it's two balls and two strikes now. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Willie Adamas is the second out of the opening frame. Austin Meadows is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Fastball taken a little under the letters called a strike. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. Digging in now, Kenny Lofton. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. And the pitch. This is line to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. Coming to the plate now, Ronald Acuna. He's set. Here it comes. A bouncer up the middle. Adamas brings it in. On to first, and there are two down. So up steps Ozzy Alves, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. And that's by him. It's 0-1. Sometimes you just got to laugh at yourself. Hitting's the hardest thing to do in all of sport. You take an ugly swing like that, take a deep breath, step out, smile about it, and get back in that foul. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made. Back now from Truist Park. Second inning coming up, but first, here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, unfortunately, the rain that we're experiencing now is not expected to go away, and it's likely going to get worse. However, the umpiring crew has told me they believe the game will get in, although a delay sounds like a likely possibility. Yeah, Heidi, and the least appreciated people in the ballpark, the grounds crew will have some newfound fans if they can keep the playing surface playable throughout, given the conditions. I think it is, though, Matt. And you got to stay focused as a player. There could be a couple stops in this one. The tarp might get pulled. You just have to keep your focus, stay dry, and stay ready. Choi tends to have more success against right-handed pitching like this than he does against southpaws. Could be a comfort thing. Maybe he just picks up the ball a little better. But that's the book on him at this point. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Well, we've mentioned the conditions aren't ideal with the rain coming down, and that can make every play a little bit of an adventure. You really have to concentrate, and he did there to haul it down. And he fouls this one off. Fouled away. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Ray's going. Here's the first pitch to him. A one count. Here's the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermeyer's got a read on it. Makes the play one away. Batting fifth. The first baseman. Ready. Three man. From 
down the stretch. Here's the pitch. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Martinez will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. That is good. So bases are empty here with two gone and standing in now one of the best players of the past two decades the great chipper Jones slap hard the opposite way that gets down and he's got himself a base hit so the two out hit here extends the inning for Dansby Swanson Dansby Swanson lining up to hit he takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away rip down the line. Here's the 0 1. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. At the plate, Jose Martinez. He's the number seven hitter, but he's leading off to third after the first six guys in the lineup have been retired in order. Yeah, it's been a great start to the guy on the mound. It'll be interesting to see if they can find a way to get to this guy before he really settles in. A ball and a strike now. Now the one and one pitch. Swung on, but it's pulled foul wide of third. The one two. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Lofton is there, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And there's the signal now from the crew chief. As we expected, we will have a rain delay. Begins to be dicey, Matt, if you're one of these managers right now. It looks like this could be delayed somewhere between 45 minutes to an hour. Do you leave your pitchers in? Most of the ballparks have areas down below where guys can ride the bike or get on the treadmill. But you start getting into that 45 minute to an hour delay, you're starting to really flirt with danger. I'll be interested to see what the managers do with these two pitchers. Fouled off. Here comes another 0 2. Hey, have an AB right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. Maybe one misses over the heart of the plate. Third inning, no score to this point. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. And it's fouled away. The next 0 2. He has a fastball down below the knees. And he fouls this one off. Here's another 1 2. Wow, this is an unbelievable, I bet. I mean, talk about a battle. This is it. Love it. And he finally puts him away here as he strikes him out after an 11 pitch at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fouled away. And the pitch. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's one and two. Well, this is where you have to be really aggressive. One and two count on an American League pitcher that rarely bats. Go right after him. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. I don't know if that was discipline or whether he's just not swinging the bat at all. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will... Well, the rain has finally passed us as we welcome you back. Yanni Chirinos looks to be ready to go as we're ready for baseball to resume. Standing in to get us going again, Russell Martin. Here's a shot to left field and deep. Look at this. And it's gone. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup. So a home run, a solo home run right here is not the end of the world. And that's in there. Base hit. 
So the top of the lineup will have a chance now with nobody out following the base hit by the pitcher. Hey guys, this is why when playing in the National League, I saw pitchers constantly just really focus on the offensive side of the ball, whether it be. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. Maddox isn't stopping. Here he comes to the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they extend their lead to two. Now that and here's Ronald Acuna Jr. now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermaier's got a read on it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. Now the throw will be well up the line as he scores easily. So one gone for the Braves here in the third, and that'll bring up the exciting Ozzie Albies. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Matty. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound, and they are just going to ambush tactics, and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. Kiermaier calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. The first baseman, five. Here's the first baseman, Freddie, Freddie Freeman. 0 for 1 Freeman. here in the early going. Now a throw over and the runner back in standing. He set and the pitch. It's sharply toward third. A leaping try but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. Albies rounds third and is digging for the plate and a relay home and not in time as the run scores. Great piece of hitting here. Men on first and they're playing in the pole, but he crosses them up and goes the other way with it, making the outfielder cover a lot of extra ground. That allowed the runner to come all the way around from first to score, and that was a great piece of hitting. And not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. And next will be Dansby Swanson digging in. As he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. Out into right center. Well hit. Jones rounds the corner and is headed home. He scores. And it's now a six-run lead. Here's another look at it right here as he drives it right between the two outfielders heading towards the right center field wall. He was flying out of the box, so I think he was thinking triple all the way. By the time they get it back in, he's safely into third. McKay was born in the state of Pennsylvania. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Hit hard towards center. And a base hit, and that'll get the run in from third. When you're up by seven runs any time in a game, let alone this early, it feels awfully good. They are hitting on all cylinders here, but they have to be careful not to let off the gas pedal now. Loop down towards short. In there, a base hit. Hey, we came into this one wondering how he was going to throw on the mound. That all goes out the window. He just mixed in his second knock of the game. He's going to be smiling for a while. Pitch inside the throw. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer. He leads off this half inning in what they hope will be a rebuttal to all those runs they just gave up. Well, Matt, I think mentally they need to get one or two of these runs back right here. Just getting on the board after getting socked in the mouth by the opposing team can lift the team up a bit. We'll see if they can string something together. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And foul. Ready with another 0-2. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base, and that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout, keep that guy off the base path. Willie Adamas will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. One strike pitch is a fastball high, and that evens things at one. Two and one. No runs, no hits, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. 
And just never could commit to the swing there, but he went around, and it's even now at two and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there, two away. At the plate, Austin Meadows. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Owen won the count. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Left fielder giving chase. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the Braves' offense with their manager, Brian Snicker, during the commercial break. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. He said their ability to get on the attack and chase the opposing starter from the game prior to the fourth inning obviously sets them up nicely for the rest of the game. Now, he just hopes they can keep that same focus with the plate in the middle and late frames, Matt. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Gone! So it's a solo shot to dead center. His first homer so far in the series as they've widened this lead to eight now. Yeah, I can remember when leadoff hitters were these little speedy guys who would try to leg out little numbers or draw walks. Well, that time has passed, and guys like How this... Bad? with pop at the plate, can sometimes go deep as well as anybody in the lineup. Now this one is blasted to left field, and there's no doubt about it. Back-to-back -back jacks. Another excellent swing right there. That's multiple home runs in the same right. inning. Double Watch ball. yourself. You're missing over the heart of the plate. Ozzie. And that'll bring in the former Ozzie. top prospect, Ozzie Albies. And that's into the gap and should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Yeah, some guys have the ability to rise the occasion while some guys shrink away when it matters the most. Well, this guy is a gamer. He's been on fire since the postseason started. And after that hit, it looks like he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Trying to pick things up where we left Freddy. off. Freddie Freeman is working on a one for two games so far. Throw on to first, two gone. Now that is Ready once again, Chipper Jones. Two base hits, both singles to this point. Hit out towards second. And that's through into center field. Base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is into score. You know what I like right there, Dan, is the batter's approach. Not trying to do too much. Just taking it right back up the chute again. Staying within himself and just knowing that anything to the outfield gets him an RBI. And that's a good piece of hitting. That's a great And the center fielder is under it to make the catch. And the inning is over. So two home runs. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They haven't had a single guy on base yet, so it's starting to feel a little desperate down here. But he said they've unfortunately just been faced with some really great pitching today. The key going forward is to find any way they can to get him out of his rhythm on the mound. Now, that may be a tall task, but they feel the little adjustments could lead to things turning around for them. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Acuna is right there, one down. Up next for Tampa Bay. The first Ready pick. to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Four. The wind up and the 0 1. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. The one two. Swing and a soft liner. And into center field as he's aboard with a one out single. Hey, D. Rowe, it's about time they finally break through. We're into the fifth inning, and that's just their first hit of this game. Yeah, Danny, it's been a pitcher's delight out there. But I'm an offensive guy. I want to see some balls moved into the gap. First knock, hopefully this is the start of many. And it's fouled away. 
No runs, just one hit, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Another one sent foul. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Now with the plate, Jose Martinez comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. No balls and a strike to count. 0 and 2 the count to Jose Martinez. Oh, I love this, boy. Got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Colin Poche gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Here comes the first pitch. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Hit hard on the ground to third. And there's one down now. So his day is fully over as you get a look at the pitching line for the Rays starter. Clearly not the postseason outing he had envisioned. One of the tough things to do when you're trying to have a good pitching performance is keep the ball in the ballpark. He was filling up the strike zone, but he did allow two home runs. Now batting, left fielder. Stepping in for the Braves, Kenny Lofton. He's got a homer and a triple to this point in the game. The last at bat, Matty B. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a and the third baseman makes the play. That ends. So here's Mike Zanino to start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that. Now, they've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Yandy Diaz will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. And he fouls this one off. The 1-1 home. Strike two, swinging. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92, you can usually see seams. 92 to 95, it starts to really quicken up on you. Over three digits, you're seeing a white blur. Hit in the air out to center field. Acuna is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Peter Fairbanks gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. From the stretch. High and deep to right center. Kiermaier will back up and put this away for a long out number one. The batter, number one, second baseman, Ozzie. Ready for another chance? Ozzie Albies. So far, two for three in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line toward right center. Kiermaier is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Dale Murphy. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Line towards center field. And that'll make him one for four in this one. So that'll extend the inning and let Freddie Freeman come to the plate. The first baseman, number five. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Freddie Freeman. He's working on a one for three thus far. First pitch on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Kiermaier's got a read on it. And that's the third out. Braves retire. All set for the start of the inning. And coming forward now is the shortstop. Willie Adamas fouled away. Adamas. On its way is pitch number 75. Fouled off. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. It's been a rough night at the yard for him. That's three times he's gone down on strikes in this one. So they've really figured out how to attack this guy. Into the corner and slicing foul. Now a 
fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. He's still looking great to me out there on the mound. Punched out the first guy in the seventh, and he's jumped ahead in the count right here. Looks like he could stay in this game a while longer. Lofton is there, and he'll bring this one in. Now that the third base. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Liner in there for a base hit. G-Man Troy the next to hit. He swings and sends it in the air to right center field. Murphy is there and he'll put it away to retire the Last half of the seventh here and set to go is the third baseman, Chipper Jones. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Now a hard liner. Foul. And one delivery behind 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Lined in the right, a base hit. So it's an inning opening base hit, and the Braves have a man on. Hey, some guys can handle the postseason lights, and this is obviously one of them. Another base hit. Leading off for the boys, this guy's had a monster postseason so far. Adama scoops it up. One there. On to first, and they get them both. The catcher, number 55. Into the box, Russell oh, Martin. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. He's set. Here it comes. Swung on and hit deep to left center. This one has a chance. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will... Coming to the plate now, Brandon Lau. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp, and it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Man, that's a good take there on that 0-2 fastball just missed. He must have a really good eye at the plate. And the eighth will start with a bang as this should be extra bases. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. When you're struggling as a team to put the ball in play, every base hit is welcome, but a double will really help wake everyone up. That's just their third hit of the game, but it's a good one. Grounded up the first baseline. A runner at second, nobody out. And on 0 2, he misses with a fastball. Count is 1 and 2. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Here comes the first pitch. Mike Zanino is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Now, after back-to-back -back strikeouts, he's got a real good chance of making that leadoff double pretty much meaningless. He's made some good pitches, and these hitters have really failed driving him in, or at least getting him over. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Lofton is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Diego Castillo comes on to pitch now, hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. So here now is the pitcher, Greg Maddox. He's been great on the mound, so we'll see if he can do something with the bat here as well. He's earned a chance to take this at bat. Yeah, Matt, when a guy's throwing the ball as well as he has, it kind of forces the manager's hand to stay with him. He's been exciting to watch, and he's really had this crowd behind him the entire game. Swung on in the dirt, strike three. With this one almost in books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, now fellas? Yeah, you ain't kidding, Matt. Damn. What does this feel like when balls are just flying out of the yard? Hero, it's just one of those days when you're out there as a pitcher going, oh, I wish I was somewhere anywhere else but on that bump right now. This has the makings of being a long game. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Kiermaier's got a read on it. Two gone.
Acuna digs in now. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Donnie extends nicely, and this ball's driven to right field and deep. Oh, and this deflects right off him. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And now Gracious just getting the ball back into the infield is becoming a problem. But it's backed up well, so luckily there will be no advance. Wow, that thing rocketed to right field. The outfielder got a decent jump on it and made a great leaping try, but he just can't make a play. By the time he tracks it down, it's too late. The triple was pretty much a done deal. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Line drive. Base hit into the left center field gap. A cash in here as the run is in to score from third. And he'll get in there safely. The right fielder, number three. Yeah. Murphy. Standing in now, Dale Murphy. But this will find the shortstop's glove for the third out of the inning. Braves get a couple of hits here in plate one. Game two heads to the ninth inning. It's the now to the plate, Kevin Kiermeyer. He's the one to start off the ninth inning with his guys in danger of going down two games to none if they can't rally. Probably a design take right there. They need base runners, so they're going to make them try to bring the ball in the strike zone. One and one to count. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Albies ranging into the outfield, but it's the center fielder who gets there. And there's one away now. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Willie Adamas is at the plate as he takes a cold strike one. The wind up and the 0-1. Circle change and a beauty. It's 0-2. Man, this dude is locked in on the mound. He's throwing each pitch with confidence. And it's fouled away. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Now another 0-2. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. So stepping in, Austin Meadows. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. And this is high, a ball and a strike. Man, this guy's had their number all game long. Up, down, in and out. He's pitching very well. And he'll fall behind now to one and two. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. Tampa Bay, good night. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. Totally dominant in this one.